Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Today, you will join me in an aviation nuggets to recall the Airbus A320 pressurization system. We will have 10 pressurization system uh, uh, questions uh, to refresh your knowledge and to recall the Airbus A320 pressurization system. So, I will join the quiz right now. Hi, Sam Ali. And let's start now the pressurization system for Airbus A320 quiz. Question number one. Okay, the pressurization system on the single aisle family normally operates automatically to adjust the cabin altitude. Okay, so. Uh, yes. Uh, this statement I think is very true this statement is very true yes you remember that the pressurization system in the Airbus A320 uh, depend on three systems two automatic and one manual and you remember on the Airbus A320 pressurization panel there is a mode select switch normally on the auto position Automatic means that two automatic system uh, are there to control the outflow valve. Cabin pressure controller one and the cabin pressure controller two. The cabin pressure controllers are located in the avionics compartment and each cabin pressure controller, CBC, control one motor on the valve body. So CBC one control motor one and CBC two control motor two. Two automatic controller and two automatic motors controlled by the automatic controller so in case just in case if the two automatic controller fail we will have a third motor on the valve body and it's called a manual motor and a manual motor which will be controlled from the toggle switch on the pressurization panel so this outflow valve one outflow valve controlled by three systems two automatic and one manual and the main system is automatic two automatic systems okay Let's proceed for the next question. Okay, next question. The pressurized areas are, the pressurized areas are, cockpit, avionics pay and the cabin, and the cargo compartment, all the mentioned above. So, the right answer is all the mentioned above, all the mentioned above. Uh, in the fuselage, all these locations are pressurized. Cockpit, avionics bay, and the cabin, cargo compartment only, uh, like the main landing gear wheel well, and the ABU compartment is not pressurized area. Is not pressurized area. Okay, so again, we have the pressurization system in the Airbus A320. Uh, pressurization uh, uh, principle is very simple. We control the air in the cabin supplied by the air conditioning bags flow rate to the outside of the cabin we control the rate of escape of the air coming from the air conditioning bay to the cabin by one outflow valve by one outflow valve to control the rate of climb and descent to the cabin we have rate of climb and descent to the cabin and rate of climb and descent to the aircraft Controlling the rate of climb and rate of descent to the cabin is done by the one outflow valve. And the normal cabin altitude when we are uh, climbing, the cabin will uh, go to 8,000 feet. The normal cabin altitude is 8,000 feet. Okay, so one outflow valve, two automatic controller, and one manual control from the pressurization panel. Three motors on the outflow valve body three motors on the outflow valve body okay so let's proceed for the next question okay how many outflow valve in the airbus a320 family aircraft one two or three just one outflow valve just one outflow valve as you can see here one outflow valve three motors two automatic and one manual motor and this outflow valve control the cabin altitude up to 8,000 feet, up to 8,000 feet. 
You know that uh, the oxygen mask for the passenger will deploy if the cabin altitude went to 14,000 feet. 14,000 feet. Okay. So let's proceed. One outflow valve, yes. Okay, next question. True or false, an outflow valve is used to regulate the amount of air allowed to escape from the pressurized areas. Again, an outflow valve is used to uh, regulate the amount of air allowed to escape from the pressurized area. Yes, this is the principle. This is the principle of pressurization system in the Airbus A320 aircraft. Uh, one outflow valve and three controller. One outflow valve, three controller. Sorry, two controllers and one manual motor control from the pressurization panel. From the pressurization panel. What is the pressurized area? It is the cockpit, uh, cabin, avionics bay, and the cargo compartment. Avionics bay and the cargo compartment. Okay, let's proceed. Question number five. Cabin pressure controllers carry out the automatic control of the outflow valve. How many? How many cabin pressure controllers? They are two cabin pressure controllers. CBC1 and CBC2. They are located in the avionics bay. Okay, so they are two cabin pressure controllers. Cabin pressure controllers. Okay. Cabin pressure controllers need to interface with... Uh, the flight management guidance computer and the ADRIO. Flight management guidance computer and air data inertial reference unit. Flight management guidance computer because the cabin pressure controller will be in need uh, of the uh, landing elevation uh, to the airport from the navigation database in the FMGC and the need aircraft altitude, aircraft altitude and air aircraft rate of climb Okay, rate of climb or rate of descent from the air data computer. Air data computer. Okay, so they are two automatic controller. And if both automatic controller fail, both automatic controller fail, we still have a hope uh, of a manual motor on the valve body controlled from the pressurization panel. From the pressurization panel. Okay, let's proceed. Next question, question 6 of 10. How many motor installed for manual operation of the outflow valve in case of both automatic system fail? Only one manual motor. Only one manual motor are there located on the valve body. Two automatic motors controlled by CBCs and one manual motor will be controlled from the pressurization panel. From the pressurization panel. So only one manual motor are there just in case of both automatic system fail and the two automatic motors fail. Automatic motors fail. Okay, everybody. Let's proceed. Okay. Question 7 of 10. To protect the fuselage against excessive cabin differential pressure. To have a normal delta B. We have safety valve installed on rear pressure bulkhead, outflow valve installed on rear pressure bulkhead, safety valve installed on forward pressure bulkhead. To control the delta B and protect uh, the differential pressure on the fuselage and protect the fuselage from any excessive differential pressure, positive or negative, we have two safety valve lo located on the aft pressure bulkhead, not on the forward pressure bulkhead, after pressure bulkhead, they are mechanical valve and they will operate in case of excessive positive or negative differential pressure. You can monitor the uh, safety valve on the cabin uh, on the a cam pressurization page. So the right answer is safety valve installed on rear pressure bulkhead. Safety valve installed on rear pressure bulkhead. If any safety valve operates or open to protect the fuselage against uh, excessive positive differential pressure or negative differential pressure, you will notice the opening of the safety valve on the ECAM uh, pressurization bitch. ECAM pressurization bitch. Okay. Let's proceed. Next question. 
let's proceed everybody the cabin pressure control panel installed on the overhead panel includes both automatic and manual control yes we have cabin pressurization panel cabin pressurization panel uh, installed on the overhead, overhead panel we have mode select switch this mode select switch have auto legend okay and in case of both automatic system fail you can transfer to manual control of the outflow valve so yes we have cabin pressure control panel installed on the overhead panel includes both automatic and manual control for automatic control normally two uh, automatic system system one and system two and you can monitor which system controls the pressurization system on the ECAM pressurization page and the system who controls the pressurization will alternate every flight will alternate every flight system one and system two system one cbc one control motor one and system two cbc two control motor two control motor two in case of both automatic system fail you can revert from auto to manual from the mode select switch and you can open the outflow valve by the manual vertical speed control Manual vertical speed control toggle switch on the pressurization panel. On the pressurization panel. Also on the pressurization panel, we have selector to control uh, or to put the landing elevation of the landing airport or destination. If uh, uh, the FMGZ cannot provide the CBC regarding the field elevation of the landing airport. Normally, the FMGC will, from the navigation database, will uh give the landing elevation of the landing airport to the cbc but in case of this uh, uh, landing elevation auto fail you can put the landing elevation of the destination airport from this selector you have an ob from minus 200 up to 14,000 uh, minus 2000 uh, uh, till 14,000 feet and last but not least we have uh, the ditching switch ditching guard switch in case of ditching the pilot can press here to close all the valve under the aircraft flotation line in case of ditching on the water to close all the valve and to allow the aircraft to uh, be suspended on the water for the maximum uh, time okay let's uh, proceed next the mode select switch lets the system be used in automatic or manual mode in case of auto mode fail. Yes, we have one mode select switch. Normally auto and in case of automatic system fail, you can transfer to manual mode and you can control the outflow, outflow valve manually from the pressurization panel. In case of auto, the outflow valve will be controlled by the CBC cabin pressure controller from the avionics bay from the avionics bay so this statement is very true this statement is very true again the mode select switch lets the system be used in automatic or manual mode in case of auto mode fail yes next question the crew can monitor all cabin pressure function on the ecam cabin pressurization page Yes, we have uh, a cabin pressurization page on the upper e cam. Sorry, on the lower e cam, you can monitor the uh, status of the outflow valve, status of the skin air inlet and outlet valve, status of the safety valve, uh, delta B of the aircraft or on the aircraft, cabin altitude and the cabin vertical speed, and the status of the uh, landing elevation of the airport if it is auto or manual. Okay, so yes, we have uh, ECAM cabin pressurization page located uh, on the lower ECAM system display page. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, so we, <laughs> we finished the 10 question now, and this is the podium. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my fellow pilots and aircraft uh, uh, maintenance personnel. So here I came in the second place. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this to monitor uh, or to uh, refresh your knowledge regarding the Airbus A320, regarding the Airbus A320, uh, 
uh, aircraft systems. Thank you for your good listening and I will see you again. Bye-bye.